Hey everybody, how's it going? I bring to you my holiday decor because today we're gonna do a little bit of fun with our envelopes. We are going to do a little envelope art holiday style. This is just a quick tutorial on taking some creative liberties with your holiday envelopes, making them easy, making them fun, things the whole family can do. So hope you will stick around and join me and be sure to watch to the very end because there's something that you might want to see, a little bonus for you. So yeah, stick around to find out. First thing we're gonna do is go over the tools needed. I have the variety of paintbrushes by Etcher Lab. We sell these in the one per week shop and I love that there are different sizes. This is just half of the brush size availability in the kit. We have our Envelope Art Academy collection of paints pencil, black pen, white Pasha pen, and a gold pen in case we need it. And we have a couple different envelopes that we're gonna play with. What I'm gonna do is speed up the video and mix up some paint here, and then we will work on some decoration. Hey, bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. What we're gonna be doing today is creating some different size ornaments hanging from the top of your envelope. We will leave some space here for your postage stamp and we will have a small corner up here for your return address as well as some creative spacing here in the middle for the addressing of your envelope. What I've done is mixed up some colors to create some shades of red, green, and blue. And I think I will start with a pencil to just give us a little bit of positioning of our ornaments. Now, creating a perfect circle is definitely not necessary, but you can if you want. Okay, I'm going to make the biggest circle down here, and that where will be where we put the address for this card. And then this ornament over here is gonna actually run off the side of the paper. So we want to just create a half circle like this, and then you're gonna create the hook space like that. I'm also gonna erase these lines in the middle here. And then we will leave the lines for the strings until after we're done. Does that make sense? I think I'm going to just erase that as well. All right, the next thing we're going to do is paint the ornaments. I will also speed that up and then we will talk about how to accent them. So I've painted the ornaments and we're going to just let them dry a little bit longer. The blue one is still not quite dry. And we're going to be using some of our vintage postage stamps on the envelope. So I've already picked out which stamps I want and I've calculated to make sure that they equal at least 58 cents. If you've noticed, I left a maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less space on this side and I'm going to leave a little bit of space between each stamp so that strategically I have a spot for the string for this red ornament. So if you look here, we're gonna put this one here. We're gonna leave some space between the third stamp and the fourth stamp and that will give us spot, a perfect spot for the ornament cord if that makes sense. Okay, all right, I think we're good there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our gold pen and we are going to outline the gold part of the ornament, which I guess is the part that connects the ornament to the 
silver or gold hook or string or ribbon. I've seen all sorts of different um, ways to connect the ornament to your tree. We're gonna go ahead and just make gold tops for each of these. You can do this with paint. You can do this with black. You can do this with white, but I have chosen to accent these with gold. Okay, and then we're going to do this blue one down here. Nothing fancy, but it is creative all the same. Then we're gonna take our black pen and we are going to just create, oh, I forgot the, the round hook on this one. Remember, this is half on, half off. So I am going to make what looks like a little U shape underneath the gold and just bring it all the way to the top of the envelope. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And I hope you can see this. I'll turn my envelope a little bit. I'm just making a little hook under here and that goes straight up to the top. And then we're gonna make a little hook under here and that goes straight up to the top. Now, the red is dry. What I'm gonna do is address this to myself so that you can see how it would look with an address inside the ornament. I think it's perfectly dry. It also goes to show you that you have plenty of space. Okay, we're almost done here. Now, if this was my holiday card, I think I would go ahead and put my return address on the back. Voila, we're done. So, the first six people who tell me about your favorite holiday letter writing experience in the comments below will get an envelope and four postage stamps, just like these, so that you can go ahead and make this envelope at home. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. I will list the resources used, the, the Etcher Lab paints, the paintbrushes, the paints. We've got some kits with these pens available and I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Thanks for joining me today.